So everybody's about to enter. We were at 12, not at 500, but that doesn't matter. The show must go on. I'm going to tell you today uh, something about hosting large open source conferences with open source tools. Currently, you're looking at the wonderful user interface of uh, Hopin, and Hopin is not open source. Uh, as organizers and from our great sponsors, uh, we, as organizers, we pay um, money to get access to this platform and we rented it to use it for today and also for tomorrow at our community day so be sure to also join up tomorrow because this is going to happen great things really nice really cool cool presentations uh there's opportunity to collaborate to to network to buff to sprint or at least we should say collaborate in these times so let me get started <clears throat> i'm Floris van Geel and on IRC, if you're still there, you can find me at uh, Zelfian, uh, also in the Slack, in the general Slack, and on the Twitter at uh, Zero Forty Lab. Uh, my company is called Zero Forty Lab, and I call myself a Drupal entrepreneur. That means that I work about 30% these days of my time for clients and use about 70% of my time for product development, which is absolutely cool. I love to do that stuff. So if we look at a little bit down the history and that at a certain time, uh, just before 2010 hit, uh, the, the mobile PC market got surpassed, uh, mobile surpassed the uh, PC market, meaning that in these days uh, there is three times or more as much uh, mobile devices in the market and walking around and doing their uh, digital uh, things than, than there is computers. Laptops are included in the PC market. The same thing happened in 2014 as the sort of a second revolution of the chat and the messaging apps, uh, where um, the four biggest social networks and their chats surpassed uh, the volume of data which is used for regular web serving, which is like insane. If you project that on top of the world, we see that uh, us in the West and the States are pretty overrepresented when you get, it comes to the amount of percentages online and devices. However, we see also that uh, specifically in uh, the continent of Africa, that a lot of people are only using mobile. With India, it's a little bit difficult with the numbers, so that's it's a little bit great. And um, this was a study uh, uh, from Oxford Internet uh, University. So what we do all day, we take this, we have this stick, we take selfies, and then we put that stuff online. And then what happens? All social media platforms, they collect our data massively, uh, paying for the services and yeah, um, have the best advertising targeted at you because you like to share so these individuals they compete for followers likes retweets favorites or what kind of namespace that was used within the social platform and they're looking for social approval rather uh, than save any kind of collective goal so every like and retweet and, and those kinds of uh, add-ons gives you a small rush of dopamine in your head which has the effect as a tiny little hit of cocaine so this is what we're doing all the time shouting out and in these days with a differentiated landscape specifically within um, facebook uh, but also maybe within twitter nowadays uh, the reach is really limited it's just amount looking at what kind of bubble you're at and whose bubbles are influencing you so if you put this into a graph uh, where you have extreme sites like uh, the top there's narcissism at the uh, uh, bottom right there's hdhd and at the bottom left there is stalking then we see that twitter is the ultimate social media tool because it's right in the center you can be a s s narcissistic hd hd stalker with that tool really cool and then a little bit of extremist Reddit is like HDAT narcissism and Facebook is just narcissistic stalking, 
where WhatsApp, yeah, it's very direct message oriented. So you have HD, HD stalking people, sending messages all the time. Then what we did as well, we connected a immensely amount of things. And that will be our third revolution where you have so many things connected that, yeah, it's, it's, we can't even imagine how much information and data will be known about you and how much uh, impact this will have on society. So what we did in 2017, we had a great idea together at uh, the DrupalCon in Vienna. And we bootstrapped a new service, uh, which is called Drupal Chat. And that is uh, for the community and run by the community in order for people to exchange their knowledge about Drupal, uh, collaborate, and, and continue in a positive curve uh, of contribution. And as a quote from uh, Rachel Lawson, we need to demonstrate that you can provide something in order of magnitude that is more welcoming than all the other alternatives. And up till today, we're still working on that and, and being nice and inclusive and yeah, collaborating, really cool. So the next phase that we went into was uh, Jitsi Meet. Uh, Jitsi Meet is a full open source, point-to-point uh, -point encrypted, uh, self-hosted data service. You have it at meet.jitsi. And as well as you have it now at uh, meet.drupal.nl, meet.drupal.au, all these services are provided just for you, the community, to communicate and collaborate and continue to make really, really awesome, beautiful software. So from there on, how does this look? In, inside of Jitsi, there is a central chat compose, uh, component, which is called Prosody. And that one is connected to the front end, the top, and at the bottom, uh, the video bridge that makes the switching. So between the peers, uh, there's always negotiation of what is the best resolution that we can share video at. And from there, and you can also hook up like a digital video recorder that can record the meeting. So you have like the, 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 the proof of uh, or document uh, afterwards from what you have done. And of course, you need to have like uh, a web service uh, like Nginx to, to send it, broadcast it out. Um, what's nice uh, <clears throat> recent development in, within Jitsi is uh, that there is now uh, off sender stream suppression, meaning that uh, the Jitsi service will look okay, what is, are these uh, different people's connections? Uh, what's Resolution can we send over uh, where the preference is always to the audio and then the streams go directly from one peer to the other peers that are in the community uh, community call. And in the end, you have like, well, pr pr pretty, pretty well re resolution with uh, great sound quality and well, unless you go for, a, for like for like a native phone app like like zoom does uh, you have a very, very feasible, good solution. So now I wanted to bring this, uh, that this happened early this year and just, just before COVID hit, like in, in February, March, uh, I was looking at opportunities to bring this to the next level. So how can we do this? How can we make um, open source solutions with tooling to uh, facilitate uh, local meetups, uh, groups of people organizing conferences, maybe up to the size of thousands and more. So looking around, what we see is that there is this one, which is called Remo. And Remo is the only example that we have here that's built around Yitzi. And what they did, they made like sort of round tables in a room and people can jump in there and start uh, collaborating around a certain subject. For example, on um, solar search or on uh, um, community engagement or on uh, Drupal marketing or all these subjects that we are familiar with from our, uh, for example, DrupalCon sprint room where you have all these tables and everybody's collaborating. This is what this product is making virtually. And that's also a feature that we, well, I still need to merge it, but that's already built that we can show off later. Uh, another one is Atkins. It looks a little bit like Hopin. Uh, it's pretty
pretty pricey and it's targeted at corporate. That's why it's so boring and white. And then we have the most expensive one in the market reaches that I did. It's called VFairs. And what they do there is that they make a virtual 3D conference hall. And in there you have like the almost as if it was real uh, experience of the stage. And then you have this, this uh, green screen solutions where everybody's sitting not at the same place, but at different locations. And you can intermix them. Pretty nice. A uh, virtual sponsor booth, also in 3D. And then we have a Hopin. At the time when I first started uh, market researching, Hopin was just getting upstream, so it wasn't that well known. And uh, Hopin and the project that I'm going to talk about just about now, like virtually, they started about the same time. Eh? This is in a time schedule uh, pre COVID, so that's in December uh, 2019. Then both these companies started. And Hopin had the great advantage that they had a venture capital inje injection. So they were able to spend a lot of money on marketing. So they got pretty, pretty famous. Right. So if you look at this kinds of a Hopin situation, uh, then you have a pretty decent networking that can be done one-to-one. -one. Uh, you have great session broadcasting that can be recorded. So this one is recorded as well, really nice. <clears throat> you have an opportunity for uh, the sponsors to give their expo, yeah, to have their booth and do their uh, tricks and uh, promos and uh, sessions in there. And then there is a chat opportunity. And yeah, that's where we are at now. We're, that's where we're collaborating and looking at. And what I found out is that there is an alternative to this. Um, initially, I was thinking, okay, can we do this with Drupal? No, the answer is no because Drupal is pretty good at making a, a solid uh, content model. It's really good at uh, giving uh, user access with a graduate uh, uh, permission subsystem. And it's uh, pretty well uh, suited for uh, content modeling and making complex uh, workflows and those kinds of things. However, when it comes down to real time, no, Drupal is not a good solution. So why do I want to have uh, something open and something uh, for sort of free? Um, due to cost, uh, accessibility, reliability, and auditability. So when I put my information in Hopin, I don't know what happens afterwards with it. I know that the, at the end of this uh, uh, conference, you'll see a great questionnaire that you have to fill in order to get through and continue. Uh, that's tomorrow when it's totally closed. Eh? So tonight you can just uh, go around and, and still chat and do whatever you want. <clears throat> so uh, another thing that we want to address is the whole Zoom issue. There is a big marketing uh, train rushing by where it states that Zoom is safe and secure. Nope, it's not. Specifically on the Mac, it's not good. Uh, if I need to call with people on Zoom, I use the, the phone uh, because the phone is less bad. But all in all, I would say, don't do that. Go for open source. And so to make this into like a framework, um, decided about putting this development under the Drupal Your project and uh, maybe look for ways to uh, integrate with open social, because there is one thing that is still a bit lacking is uh, the same as when you enter the main hop-in, you have your account and then you have to know, okay, to which conference belong, do I belong to what URL do we need to go and that you have one centralized point to do so. Um, there's <clears throat> ideas to integrate this as well with Opinjo, which is an open source Drupal based e-learning system so that within the e-learning, you can jump to uh, conference rooms and, and breakouts and get back in again and maybe something else. So that's why I'm open for any suggestions to see, okay, what are great ideas that we can incorporate and, and add on and collaborate. So what's needed, which is not very well suited in current solutions, um, you need to have a full uh, Jitsi Meet API integration um, that is already fully done in Virtly. Um, there is a need for a hallway track 
and not specifically a hallway track where you make appointments to meet specifically with people uh, or you can click to get one random person assigned and talk with that person uh, but within conferences you want to find out okay i want to talk with my friend piush that i just messaged me because we can do some business in the near future or uh, I'm, I'm working on this project and need expertise from that person so you want to deliberately have groups and ad hoc solutions in order to uh, bring the technology further and make your business and your networking further. And the thing that we're still lacking with the, the Vertly uh, uh, continuation is the uh, virtual booth for the sponsor. There is some rudimentary work started, but that still needs some, some extra development. So let's meet Vertly, Vertly app. Um, it's an open source, fully fledged solution. Uh, with one disadvantage that at around March when COVID hit us, um, virtually went, it took the open source software and put that into a SaaS solution. That means that the recent developments are only available within SaaS. And if you want to experience that, I would like to invite you for the 19th of November. Then there is the Mautic uh, open source uh, uh, conference, which also happens in Vertly. You can find it uh, at uh, multicon.maltic.org. And it's also PHP based and it integrates really well within Drupal. So you're all invited to join that one. And I'm going to show you uh, uh, how this Vertly works. You have another tab where we can walk through the process and see uh, what is currently working and where we want to go. Since there is about nine minutes left, so I jump to that one now. Uh, let's go this share. Oh no, I just go put the direct link in there. So remember the interface that you're seeing in the where I'm presenting at in, in Vertly. So now I <clears throat> go to www.web.app slash v slash minimal test. I'll put links in the slide so you can play around with it. So we join this virtual event. I join with Let's take Mr. Google. Uh -huh. la, 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 the... No, sorry. This one I need. Okay. And currently it's built inside Firebase and in the near future, we want to get this out of to Firebase and have it in something like MongoDB so that we can directly integrate it with the Rocket Chat platform, which has a great scalability. So that's one of the downsides that currently you have one global chat, but still there is like uh, the main stage where you have your stream going on the same as we have. This is uh, the same presentation that I gave before. Then there, uh, let's jump to another room. Hello. Yeah. Ah, there we go. I should allow this in this client, right? Then we have the normal breakout rooms. And the cool thing is that you can embed, like for example, YouTube in there and then join on the other side in the Jitsi Meet or uh, maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to go here and draw pictures together. So there's like anything that you can embed, you can embed as long as it allows X same origin so that you can have a direct connection uh, outside of the, uh, yeah, that if, if it's allowed to use it in an iframe, you can embed it. And the great thing here is that everybody can create rooms so that you can have like organic growth of your uh, um, platform and uh, yeah, collaborate in a specific way. What we also did, but I still need to merge it, is we created like uh, the central tables part. So it's just a clone of rooms, but instead of that you have tables and then you see the topics of each sprint table and you can click on there and join the meeting in uh, Jitsi Meet and collaborate. 
with uh, interactive whiteboards and what else is needed for uh, having the yeah, collaboration uh, done successfully. And then, yes, specifically, there is the same kind of uh, networking. And then you have the ability to, currently there's no one, I should have invited another person to show it off. Uh, you have a list of all the people and you can directly invite them for one-to-one -one networking as well as uh, uh, invite them for group networking, of course. Uh, yeah, so in, in all in all, what the plans here are is um, currently we've done some development uh, in the East to get some extra features in place, uh, including the round tables, including the sponsor booth. And, and with that uh, all merged, uh, there is like a showcase example uh, that we can use to uh, approach investors, let's say sponsors, uh, people in the community that want to collaborate, uh, communicate, and and <clears throat> yeah, together make this into the next level platform. Um, it's built in React, that's really good. Uh, so it works asynchronously and you can horizontally scale it with uh, extra uh, uh, instances in order to make it yeah, work seamlessly. The big disadvantage, to my opinion, is currently that uh, the database is in Firebase Google. So in the immediate next roadmap, it is the idea to have that all in MongoDB, uh, so it can directly uh, interact with uh, Rocket Chat. And from there on, um, see what kinds of features are needed for us as people from communities um, to facilitate us and to help us engage and, and collaborate in a better way. So I have two minutes left in order to um, answer some questions. So if there are, then I would be love, happy to take it. Wonder.me? No, I haven't. Is it cool? Let's look. Oh. Get a room, okay. And does it have a Git repo? Project Wonder. Maybe that's something else. Interesting. If it's if it's open source, I definitely look into it. By the way, you can find the um, directly on GitHub, like this one, directly GitHub. And that's the Vertly uh, project. And the fork that we did uh, with the merged features uh, will also become available in the public domain as open source. So anybody can jump into that and, and start growing it and start collaborating. I can take one or two more. If there's one more, two more questions, I can take it. No. Can people jump in by themselves in here or do we need to invite? No questions? No. Did you already find the, the, the cool photo booth that we've added to the conference? They can make like with the branded stripes, you can make a picture of yourself. It's really cool. Only for sharing audio. Yes. Audio and video, I think. It should be open to join up. But I can invite. Oh, but now it's DM. No, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's the idea. Uh, it's an external app. So um, all the pictures get collected in there. And in the end, we're going to make one big, huge uh, 500 people. Uh, I hope everybody shows up, but that wouldn't happen. Like a few hundred people uh, poster with all the little pictures of everybody. So we have like a virtual group photo. That's the best we can do within the within COVID. Yep. And then it was 30. So I thank you all for your attention. And I'm looking forward to meet you at the rest of, of this conference. And I hope that you'll all be back tomorrow because tomorrow will be great. Tomorrow will be focused around uh, contributing programming, buffing, talking together. Uh, there's really interesting uh, program, like only two parallel tracks, but still really, really cool in-depth uh, 45 plus minutes uh, sessions. Yeah. so. Thanks for attending and uh, looking forward to, to see you all.